This is Pam Smith with Farm Journal Magazine, and I'm with Ed Winkle, and we've been talking about weed resistance. Ed, you came down to the Mid-South. Tell me where your farm is first. We are one hour east of Cincinnati and a little town of Martinsville in Clinton County. Our county seat is Wilmington, Ohio. Okay. So you saw what today? We came to the Mid-South to talk about weed resistance, and were you surprised? I'm surprised at the magnitude of the problem. We, we've got a weed resistance worldwide, and I know of the tall water hemp in Iowa. I know of the mare's tail problem in the eastern Corn Belt where I live. That's my number one problem. But to see the uh, Palmer amaranth and the pigweed problem in the, in the deep south, it's just a larger magnitude, a bigger wake-up call for all the rest of us. We better get our act together, or we're going to be facing the same problem these farmers are today. And uh, everyone here was shocked at how how severe this weed problem really is. So these guys have really been working at it the last couple of years. I mean, I, I, I also thought I saw some hope a little bit. I felt really sorry for the good farmer. He's a good farmer that had 400 acres of soybeans last year, destroyed from the weed, and uh, eight weeds per square foot, can you imagine? Just sprayed $50 in chemical and still lost the crop. I think that's really potential in about anywhere we farm because we relied on one or two chemicals way too much and got away from our old diversity. I think we have to add diversity back in the uh, in the rotation and in the use of our, our chemistries. One of our one of the lessons today that we also talked about was that just uh, going to another chemical and just using it routinely then is not the answer, right? Exactly. And it, but it did make me happy that I, I, I'm smart enough to see this. And this year on our farm, we have non-GMO, we have Liberty Link, and we have Roundup Ready. So we're placing each one of those programs where it'll make us the most money. If we have a, a certain kind of weed uh, problem that Roundup Ready will, will cover, we'll do it. The uh, Liberty Link program will cover some more weeds that are resistant to Roundup now, so we added that. But we still go back to the old non-GMO, using the premium we get for our beans to pay for the extra chemical costs that we're going to incur with that program. And one of the things you also said is that you're using a lot of cover crops to try to control weeds also. Not near as much as I should have. Last year we got half our acres up, uh, what I call winter seeded. And I can see uh, if we have good fall this year, we could seed 100%. And I think it would be well worth me to invest the money and, and, and really work with these uh, cover crops more. Uh, some use cocktails. I've been using one uh, cover crop like uh, wheat, oats, rye, barley, or radishes. Uh, I, I think I'll do more of that this fall and try to get everything covered. All right. Thank you very much.